Hello everyone, my name is Gerald. Welcome to Studio Play. Have you guys seen our client reveal video which was posted two weeks ago? Well today, join me as I walk you through the whole renovation process in the making of the project which is Studio Ploy's very first official client. What are you seeing now is the unit's floor plan and mood board. We are not going to do a total makeover and I will be changing the layout since the unit is going to be for rental. The owners wanted the very same treatment that I did on our very first makeover video with a touch of minimalism. Hence, the whole design concept would be inspired by it. To further give you details of the unit, here are some before clips. It's a 28 square meter one bedroom and is already standard in finish. Meaning, the unit is already painted in flat white. Standard fixtures and cupboards for bathroom and kitchen are already in place. The unit owners wanted it to be very cozy and still renter friendly at the same time. When I started the project, it was when restrictions was a bit stricter. I was only able to bring in limited materials and as much as I wanted to have at least one assistant, the building admin would not allow it. One of the most requested element from our first makeover that they liked was the cement finish wall. For this unit, I decided to put it on the side of the wall which is going to be the headboard for the bed and on the living room adjacent to the dining area. It will also be the back part of the sofa which will serve as our focal wall. The whole process took me about a week to finish. By the way, I made a tutorial for this which was posted two months ago. You can check that out kung di nyo pa napapanood, ilalagay ko rin yung link sa description box. For this project, ang pinili nating shade is the one on the right side which is Marble Mist. My first choice when it comes to paint would always be white but it's not going to be just a typical white. Dito, pinili natin yung much warmer one para mag-contrast sa colors ng furniture natin which are mainly in darker tones of gray and black. The original paint are in flat white na medyo madaling madumihan and is hard to maintain. I always go for matte or satin which has a very little to no gloss to it. Ito mas madali siyang i-maintain na pag nadumihan, damp cloth would easily remove the stain. I particularly like this because it enables to hide bumps, very little imperfections on your walls, lalo kung di maganda pagkakapalitada or hindi na masilia. I then proceed with the backsplash installation and to protect the existing granite countertop, I have to cover it with a protective sheet. Adding a backsplash will upgrade the look of the kitchen and at the same time will act as a durable buffer at mas madali pang linisin. Yung tiles na napili ko is a 3 by 5 inch beveled subway tiles in white para mas classy ang look. Yung materials for this, nakuha ko lahat from Wilcom. The original material for this was a mosaic tiles, but due to stock problem, I decided to replace it with a slightly bigger size na actually mas maganda yung naging result. After weeks of delivery restrictions, finally, nabigyan na tayo ng work permit and gate pass para ma-install na natin ang Red mirror from our very reliable supplier, Asibar Glass. Shout out pala kay Kuya Pablito kasi parating niya nakukuha yung gusto kong look and specifications. This part was inspired by the partition in our first makeover video kasi since we are not going to replace the existing one, ginawa ko is to make it as an accent wall and double purpose pa siya kasi this would make the room look bigger.
they were also the one to customize the glass extension for the kitchen. The next three days, sinunod-sunod na natin ang delivery and installation ng aircon, water heater, and washer and dryer at sobrang delayed na natin. And this is because of some delivery restrictions sa building. For the washer and dryer, though, I wanted to keep the cabinet door but unfortunately it won't fit. This is actually the smallest washer and dryer na available and as per LG, third pa lang ito na na-install nila sa buong tower. When I started doing the cement finish and painting, I already purchased the furniture and supposed to be delivered after a week so as not to waste time but due to lockdown, deliveries were pushed to more than two weeks then. So after my installing appliances, I now have enough space to assemble each and every furniture. I started from the chairs, followed by this two-door wardrobe na inabot ng gabi at sinabayan pa ng pagkapon din ng ilaw, kaya ang ginamit na lang natin is ang ating recline. This table was so memorable to me kasi napated ako going back and forth, kakakuha ng different shots at namagayong daliri ko sa paa na halos two days din ako hindi nakagawa. Next is the bed frame which is actually one of the easiest to install. And yung floating shelf na ginawa nating dresser, I actually decided to go for this kasi due to the limited space, a regular table would push back the chair nakakain ng space and but in this case since it's a bit narrow tapos na ilalagay pa natin sa ilalim ng chair this would free up additional space it would give enough room between the bed the dresser and the wardrobe to actually move around this whole area was actually featured on one of furniture sources recent IG post Kasi doon natin halos nabili yung mga stuffs dito, especially itong FB Alex floating shelf. Sa dami ng deliveries natin the past few days and sa mga appliances and furniture that we unboxed, I have to pre-up the space kaya naglinis muna tayo. With the overhead cabinets, it was so plain though maganda naman ang ginamit na type ng laminates pero to complete the industrial scandy look of the kitchen, I added a little touch to it by installing a minimalist black handle to spruce up the whole look no ating cupboards. Next is the installation of the range hood. Originally, dapat kasabay ito ng aircon and washer and dryer, but unfortunately, walang stock ng bumili tayo. And I was only able to get this after a few days sa Western na. And since it would be hard to get another set of permit, I decided to install it myself. this unit, meron na siyang abang na exhaust pipe which is actually better compared to most of the condos na yung rain should naka-filter lang at circulating yung air kasi I found this more effective in removing smoke, fumes, and heat steam. Dito ang ginawa ko is I make a hole using a drill and jigsaw from the bottom part of the cabinet then tinunek natin siya to the range hood sa abang using a flexible aluminum pipe and duct tape
for the light fixtures, I originally wanted to put a chandelier but due to the low ceiling height, a properly scaled one for this space would hang very low. Usually kasi, the ideal clearance is between 6.5 to 7 feet from the floor to the fixture. But for this one, nasa 5.8 lang siya. I, uh, I replace it with track lightings which is actually one of my favorite type of lighting method as it is versatile and classy. Same actually ito dito sa nilalagay natin sa kitchen ceiling but this one is in a series of three spotlights while yung nasa living natin is five naman and a little bigger in size since mas bigger din yung lalagay nating space. Moving to the toilet and bath, the owners wanted a very simple one kasi for rental nga ang unit and only requested for a shower curtain and water heater. I suggested to put floating shelves kasi walang storage space and also to upgrade the aesthetics a bit para di naman mapag iwanan ng overall look ng ating unit. And I also added a towel holder beside the sink since tinanggal natin din yung original na towel bar. For the shower curtain, for it to blend sa existing na fixtures, ang pinili kong rod is the stainless steel na nabili ko from True Value. And this one, di na kailangan na mag-drill in case client decides to put a glass partition later on. This plain white na curtain naman, na bili lang natin ito from H&M Home. After all the major installations and drillings, I then proceed in unboxing and installing the legs of the sofa bed. Ang pinili kong sofa bed for this space is yung L-shaped in dark gray color that perfectly contrasts our white paint walls and blends with our black light fixtures and mirror frames. This one I also got from Furniture Source. For the window, I opted for curtains instead of blinds kasi gusto kong magmukhang spacious and airy yung unit and since it's for rental it would be easier to replace it and also it's cheaper the budget for the curtain is on the affordable side kaya i was so happy with the actual result and that it blends perfectly with the overall look of the unit na naging mas cohesive siya actually Tips on curtain installation to make the space look more spacious is to mount the rod as high as possible instead of just covering the whole window frame. For the entertainment area, this TV bench was actually the second option. Yung first choice was actually the white one, pero we opted for this one. The client liked this bench a lot as it looks industrial and expensive siya tingnan sa actual and pasok siya mismo sa overall team natin for the unit. Yung TV originally, dapat nakapatong lang siya sa bench but I insisted to hang the TV on the wall kasi masyadong mababa ang bench that it would create a negative space above. I also installed a 120cm floating shelf for accent and doubles as an additional storage space. For the meantime, nilagyan ko muna siya ng temporary accent pieces and bahala na si client or yung mag re to rearrange it or kung ano ang gusto nilang ilagay. 
after all the installations and assembling of furniture, we are now primed to sell the space. Some of the items here were sourced out from actually the Pitan Arcade. For the dining, since we don't have a dedicated room for it, this space beside the living is perfect for it. A round table makes this more flexible and can be converted up to three chairs. Again, the use of transparent chairs would have a lesser impact to the space. As a result, it makes the area airy instead of cramped. Moving to the sofa, I originally intend to put a two-seater sofa bed but the design I chose got sold out. But I was thankful that I went for this kasi mas bumagay sa space. I went on removing the armrest to make it more simple and sleek. There's actually an option for the armrest to be on the left side but I, I don't like it as it would eat up space for the dining. And of course, a studio ploy makeover would not be complete without our signature personalized art feature. I covered the junction box with this minimalist art to make it more pleasing. For the living area, I added this personalized digital art. The first one is a famous landmark from unit owner's country of origin and the other one symbolizes the unique identity of the beautiful couple. And for the bedroom, this 120 by 60 inch mixed medium abstract art in canvas panel entitled Day and Night fits perfectly as a headboard. Minutes before the client reveal, I started to style the space, adding some of my favorite leaves, the silver dollar, and some flower arrangements to complete the whole Scandi industrial minimalist look. Finally, after weeks of delays, I'm excited to show you this labor of passion and hard work.
standing here seeing the outcome of what's initially I visualized on my mind and now seeing it come to life and knowing that the client were happy with the result. Such a beautiful feeling looking back to when I first started transforming this space. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole walkthrough with me and I hope to see you on our next project.